guys, it's Stephanie with Simriki, and welcome to The Sims 4 restaurant tour of Under the Sea Dining. Now, this is my official entry for Sim Guru Kimmy's Dine Out Build Challenge Thingy. Yes, that's the official name. <laughs> she basically created a shell of a seafood restaurant. It was nothing but the walls and the roofing, which I actually went ahead and changed, which was something she actually asked us to do. And I furnished the inside, decorated the outside, added all the fountains, pretty much everything that you see. So we are actually going to do a tour of this restaurant so I can give you a closer look at everything. And one of the requirements or one of the bonus requirements was a water garden and in parentheses she's put she put whatever that means I don't know either. I don't know what a water garden is. So this is my interpretation of what it would look like. So I basically built a fountain uh, pretty much around the entire build and put these little sections of grass platforms and flowers and of course more fountains on top of those to make it look like a garden effect. Now the theme of this entire restaurant is under the sea. So once we get inside, you can see more. You can see kind of a little bit of the bubbles coming out through the walls. But once we go inside, it's going to have more of an effect of being underwater so right now just showing you some more of the fountains and we're going to take a little stroll down the outside of the building you can see part of the outside dining which i'll give you a closer look at when we get to the inside portion of the tour there are lots of fountains, lots of little water jets just shooting out all over the place. And then we have these cute little elephant fountains right here, which I think are absolutely adorable. I think they're my new favorite thing. I love that you can see the petals from the flowers inside of it. And then I put a little, um, a little flower thing. I don't know what that's called. It looks like a fountain, but it's not, but there's flowers in it. And this is probably my favorite part. I just happened to place the build here, which I think it's the actually, it's actually the same place that Kimmy placed her build, but you have a beautiful, beautiful shot of the ocean from out here. And you can see the whole freaking city, which I think is absolutely beautiful. If this was a real restaurant, I would come here all the time just for that view alone. <laughs> So here's just another little close-up, another angle of these little elephants. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I absolutely love them. I love them so much. This entire build gives off a very calming and serene environment, which is totally my thing. I love anything that has to do with the ocean or the water. I love sea life, whales and dolphins and seahorses and mermaids. And yes, I believe mermaids are real. <laughs> I actually, I moved to Florida from Ohio, especially, or I should say specifically to be by the ocean. It's been about 10 years since I made that move and it, it was the best decision that I ever, ever made. So I could totally see this being here somewhere in Florida, somewhere in Tampa, if it was a real place. So now we are strolling down the front of the build and we're going to work our way into the inside of this restaurant. Over here, we have some more fountains with the little fishies shooting water at each other. They are so cute. I absolutely love, I love all the items that we are able to use in the sims that have anything to do with waters and fountains they're just the cutest things ever all right so now we're making our way inside going through the front door and as soon as we come inside we are greeted with our host station and a beautiful aquarium right behind him now kimmy actually put this in here it was a pool and i added the columns and i added an aquarium inside as well as a bunch of plants to make it look like an actual aquarium instead of a pool but i will give you a better shot of that in just a few minutes Right now we are looking at the seating area. When you first come in and you're waiting for your table, you can have a seat here in front of these beautiful windows and you can already see the little bubbles coming out everywhere. Now we also have these two giant aquariums right here in the front, which were mainly the inspiration for the entire build. I wanted it to look like you were in a giant aquarium or that you were literally in the ocean, under the ocean. And now we're heading towards the back end of the restaurant. This is sort of where um, the waiters, the waiter stations are located. 
And now we're heading straight back to the kitchen itself. I had to go into Buy to Bug to get these vegetables and fish to make this look like a giant butcher's block. And then we do also have two chef stations back here. So although it is a small kitchen, it has everything that they need. So right now we are looking at our master chef grilling up some beautiful fresh fish for our guests tonight. And there is this giant window here so you can actually look down to part of the dining area. And then of course, the customers can look in and see what the chefs are up to, see just how fresh their fish is. Now we're heading back towards the waiter station, and I did actually create two bathrooms. There is a woman's bathroom on the other side, and this is the men's bathroom. They pretty much look the same. We have the dual sinks, and then we have the toilets behind the closed doors. Now here is one of our waiters coming through and putting the dirty dishes away. We also have the menu board on the left-hand side so they could see what the specials are for the evening. We are heading back to the dining area, but first we're gonna stop to take a closer look at the aquarium I built that I was talking about. Again, this is a pool turned into an aquarium. I even put the little plants, the alien plants in here, just sort of to look like maybe coral or tentacles. And we're gonna zoom right through this thing all the way across back to the host station. All right, now here is a better look of the dining area. And here, of course, you can see more of the water features and the bubbles coming out from the floor. So it, I hope, I hope it looks like we are underwater. We have these beautiful chairs. I know they're a bit bright and colorful for this build considering everything is so blue and green. However, I was hoping that they would look like different beautiful colored seashells. And of course we have our bartender back here with this beautiful bar so your sims can grab a drink and relax. Now another one of the requirements for this build was private dining. So I actually created two separate private dining areas. This first one is here on the split level. It is a very cozy little dining area, just a couple of tables, and then that boat on the right-hand side is just a decor item that I upsized to make look like an actual boat. <laughs> Our bartender is, ooh, doing a couple tricks for us here. <laughs> and now here is another look at my sim self, Stephanie. She is looking at the beautiful aquarium, chatting up one of her new friends, and we are now heading out to the first outdoor area. And we sort of saw the outside of this when we were looking at those fountains, but now you can see what the dining part actually looks like. And again, we have these beautiful, beautiful views of the ocean from up here. This is one of my favorite shots. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And again, if this was a real restaurant, I would come here all the time. <laughs> so we have a couple of tables and chairs out here, another fountain, and then the little fire warming station thingy, <laughs> whatever that's called. Here is another shot at the dining area, and we have these lamps and lanterns coming down from the ceiling, the different paper lanterns and star lanterns. And again, I was hoping those look sort of like seashells, maybe something you would actually see in the Little Mermaid movie. I haven't seen it in a very long time, but I imagine this is the type of restaurant that Ariel would come to. There's that bartender working on that trick again, and looks like he nailed it. <laughs> All right, and now we're getting ready to head upstairs to the second story, and this is a bit of a surprise, guys. So first of all, we have a couple more aquariums. We can't have enough of those. We have another bar here to the left, and before I show you that surprise, we're actually gonna take a little stroll to the bathroom. <laughs> there is another bathroom up here, and this one actually has the talking toilet. And there is some water shooting out of it. I don't know if it's broken or if that's part of the feature, but either way, I figured it fit in very nicely. So on to the surprise. The second floor is actually a lounge room slash dance floor. So we have our celebrity DJ over here cranking out some tunes for the guests to dance to. And I love the helmet that she's wearing. That is so awesome. I love it. I love it. And then of course we have some karaoke. We have two of our female guests here singing the night away, providing some more entertainment for everyone. And then further down, we have another cozy seating area. And again, we have these little bubble blowers right along the windows to give that aquarium effect in here. And of course, we have our bubble blowers. I think that's what they're called. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but I had to include those. They have the chairs that look like seashells and they just fit in perfectly. So here is my sim self stephanie again making friends getting to know everybody and blowing away at those bubbles <laughs> 
Here is another shot. There is that second bar area up here with lots of bottles and of course another aquarium. They're going to be just all over the place. Oh and of course we have the awesome dance floor that you can actually see through so you can see what's going on downstairs from up here. Now this is the second private dining area. This is a great little space that you could rent out for your private parties. There is a piano up here and a beautiful pianist playing some music for our guests. There is also a microphone there in case anyone wants to sing along. Now the second outdoor area is up here as well. So we're going to go ahead and take a peek at that. I put these little tree decorations with more paper lanterns on them that look like flowers and I think they just fit in very nicely. Now this is our second host station and he is on the phone make making reservations for one of our guests. And of course up here there are some more bubble blowers. We have this really pretty tree that has the lights wrapped around it, one of my favorite items in the game. Of course another gorgeous view of the city, a bonfire, and a few more bubble blowers out here. So guys, that actually brings us to the end of the tour, but don't go anywhere yet. I am actually going to include some screenshots here at the end in case you want a closer look or a second look at anything, or maybe screenshots are more of your thing. I highly recommend you stick around to check those out. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. I actually posted a few photos on Twitter and Facebook, and the response from you guys was absolutely overwhelming. Last time I checked, there was over over 400 likes on the screenshots and a lot of you liked it so much that you decided to subscribe to my channel so anyone who's new here welcome and thank you so much for the support it means so much to me I had such a fun fun time making this build so thank you very much Sum Guru Kimmy for creating this challenge I hope to see many more like this and if you guys entered the challenge I definitely want to see your creations as well so make sure to let me know in the comments below whether you created it and uploaded it to the gallery or whether you actually made a video of it I would absolutely love to see it and of course if you're new here or even if you're not and you have not subscribed yet please please make sure to do that for me it means a lot to me anytime I get a new comment or a new subscriber it just makes my day and keeps me motivated to keep creating videos for you guys and I'm such a small channel every comment and every subscription helps so please Please do that if you want to see more videos. I do post daily content on this channel. Some videos are from The Sims 3, and more recently they're from The Sims 4. I'm definitely getting more into The Sims 4 builds, and I do have my Vampires Let's Play as well, but it's definitely more of a house tours and house building channel. So I really hope you enjoy it, and I hope you want to come back and see more. So I'll go ahead and leave you off with just a little bit of music here in the final screenshots. And guys, Thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, you can check out any of my playlists. I have tons and tons of videos for you guys, so please enjoy. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!